They've lived for so long. Please, somebody help me! Please! What? Who is this? Who am I talking to? Thank goodness! My name is Louise, and I'm being chased by some people! You're being chased? All right, stay calm. Do you know where you are? After you? Oh, is that you again? The girl who answered earlier? Those people chasing me? I lost them once, but they're back! Looks like they don't know when to give up. Where are you? Do you see anything familiar around you? I, I see the cathedral nearby, and there's lots of people walking around the area. Scream for help to get their attention. I'll try, but I can't promise I'll make it there in time. Okay, I'll do that, but... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Don't you think the timing of the call was a little odd? It's like the phone rang when I got close. you're all right. What happened? Well, I managed to get away from those people from before, but now uh, I think I'm lost. Let me get this straight. You're not hurt, just lost. And they're not chasing you anymore, the people that were after you before? Yes, thank you. I'm all right now. Look around you. Do you see any landmarks? Can you describe what you see? Um, I see... I see a bunch of shops nearby. How far from the South Station are you? find you. Stay there. Don't move an inch. Okay, I'll, I'll stay here. And, um... Yeah? I promise this isn't a hoax. You might not believe me, but I really need your help. I swear I'm telling the truth. I'll be waiting for you. I hope you'll come and find me. If you don't come, I... <sighs> Louise? Louise! What was she trying to tell me? I realize this is out of the blue, but, uh, you don't happen to be looking for a little girl named Louise. I am. How did you know that? Well, a good guess. I've fallen for her old pranks myself once or twice. Pranks? Yeah, she's a bored little girl with too much time on her hands. No one around here takes her seriously anymore. Think about it. I mean, she's been living here for several hundred years. Several hundred years. I mean, how easily could she get lost? Of course. Just because she sounds like a child. No child in this world is truly a child any longer. And even if she is lost, I mean, it's not as though she's hurt or in any kind of danger or something. Eh, I'm sure someone will help her out. Hope, what do you think? This is just another one of her famous pranks. The way she got... with the likes of her. Run! You must be Louise. 
I've come to take you home. But who are you? Oh, wait. You're the nice lady on the phone, aren't you? I recognize your voice! That's right. Finally we meet. Thank you for coming to save me. Even after tricking you all those times, I feel bad about what I did. Really. I mean, all those calls before, they were just pranks. It's not a prank anymore when you find yourself in real danger. Being kidnapped is serious. Do you realize you would have been killed if I hadn't shown up? To tell the truth and don't get mad, I let myself get caught. I told the disciples I volunteer a tonight sacrifice for the goddess. What? Why on earth would you do something like that? Um, no, oh, this is hard to explain. Okay, I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but just try and hear me out until the end. Please. The fact is, I lost faith a long time ago. This world has no future. We've waited for hundreds of years for God or the Savior, and neither has shown up. No one knows if there's a tomorrow. Everyone just lives for themselves. No one cares about anything or anyone. So I had to find out if there was still hope. What do you mean? It was a bad, okay? I put it all on the line to see if people were really worth believing in anymore. I've pulled my share of pranks and caused trouble, and I've learned that most people will put up with your tricks a couple of times. But no matter how good I act, how much I cry, and how much I beg, no one ever trusts me the third time around. Even I know when to quit, so I made a bet. Let me get this straight. You purposefully set me up twice and bet your life on me and my morals. Wagering I'd go against your expectations. You were betting on me to answer your third call. If you did, then I'd be able to keep holding on to hope. I'd want to keep on living. That's ridiculous. Do you even understand how lucky you are to be alive? You wouldn't be standing here talking to me if I hadn't made it in time. I knew you'd come and save me, though. Don't ask me how. But I knew that you were a good person. What made you think that? You don't know me at all. I know. I just believed in you somehow. Maybe because I wanted to. I wanted to believe there was still hope in this dying world. And look what happened! You came through for me, just like I knew you would. All of a sudden I feel like a pawn in your game. And you're the one playing both sides. That was silly. Well, maybe a little. But I'm trying to thank you. I'm glad there are still people like you in the world. You inspire me to keep my faith in humanity. In that case, you're welcome, I guess. I'm glad to hear that all that running around was worth something. Remember, your life is valuable. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> I promise I won't. And I'll never do anything like this ever again. Thank you. <laughs>